Hi, welcome to our channel Below Zero Greens. This channel is run by Carolyn and Janelle and we share with you guys our gardening journey. Tips and tricks that we've learned along the way and still learning. Today we're going to show you guys how to set up a crack key jar. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any tips and tricks or video requests. We love hearing from the community. Lastly, we'll leave a few Amazon links down below of the products that we're using. This is the Cracky method. It's a passive hydroponic system developed by Bernard Cracky, a researcher at the University of Hawaii. It's passive because you don't need any water circulation or air stone and the plants get their nutrients from the water. Here's two jar options, clear versus amber. With clear jars, light can get through it. Therefore, you need something extra to block the light. For example, a sock or by spray painting it. This is a wide mouth mason jar that was spray painted to prevent algae from forming. A con may be that you can't see the water level, therefore a part was left unpainted. Ideally, less than half or about one third of the jar is filled with water is what we prefer to prevent root rot. For the amber jar, it's a bit more pricey, but we like it because you can still see the water level and it blocks the light from forming algae. Unlike the clear jar, it's nice that you can see the water level, but unless you cover it up, the light will form algae and steal the nutrients. This is a 3 inch net cup that fits perfectly in a wide mouth mason jar. It also fits nicely in a plastic mayo jar. You might have to cut the lid if you're using a small net cup, like a 1 or 2 inch size. So what you do is fill your net cup with clay pebbles. This is what it looks like close up. It's nice and light. Place the rock wool in the middle and fill a bunch of pebbles all around. This is an example of a bok choy over here. You want the pebbles to block the light to prevent algae from forming or hold the rock wool and eventually the plant in place as it grows. Now I will show you different types of material that you can use. This one over here is a large solid piece of rock wool. It's cheaper than the individually cut ones. Cons, it's a little hard to cut nice even shapes and it's not good to squish the rock wool too much. So you have to be careful when breaking it apart. And by squishing it, it can make the rock wool not absorb well. This is called an Oasis root cube. They say it's more eco-friendly compared to the rock wool. Lastly, over here, this one's our favorite. It's a little bit more pricey, but we love the shape of it. You can fit two into a three inch net cup if needed. And it fits nicely into a two inch net cup. I will show you how to set up my seeds using a rock wool. I'm going to use a pea seed to plant into my rock wool. Now you need a little container. You can use anything like this old takeout container I had laying around. Now you take the rock wool and you take the seed that you're using and you place it right in the slit. Then you place your rock wool in the container. I'll put three in mine. But you can get away with putting a few more since there's space. Now you take the water mixed with nutrients. You don't want to fill the container up with water. I put less than half. It's nice that you can see the rock wool absorbing the water. And that will keep the seeds nice and moist. Once you're done, you cover them up. 
The seeds like to be nice and toasty. Once you see germination, you can transfer your plants into a jar or whatever you choose to use. For example, this is a mint plant. This is what it looks like after a few weeks. Growing nicely. And that's the cracky method in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own or if you have any video idea requests, we'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Wishing everyone a good experience in their gardening journey. For more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we left a few Amazon links down below of the products that we're using. Until next time, goodbye!